It turns out replacing the fender on a Generation 2 Dodge is uh, a lot harder than you would uh, think because the entire unit is spot welded together. You can't just unbolt the outside. The whole inner fender, wheel well, that's all one piece. So once you get it off, you're right to the side of the engine. you got to take the battery out and unbolt the airbox from it. Well, why am I replacing the fender, you may wonder. Well, here's the old fender. Looks fine. But you can see right here, I've touched it up a little bit, but it's a little rusty. Well, most all auto body rust is from the inside out. You know, a lot of light in there, but you can see it's, it's real rusty on the inside. And when you start to see rust on the outside, that's coming through from the inside. That's how basically all door bottoms rust. For example, on this truck, salt and water runs in along the window and it sits inside where the door is welded on the bottom. And then it, it rots it out from the inside. Same thing, wheel wells, stuff flies up off the tire and it sits in there because there's two layers of metal that meet right there and they rust out from the inside. Now, what you can do to avoid that, like on Dodge, depends how the box is built. On the, on the Gen 2 Dodge though, you can dump oil or diesel something down the center stake pocket and then it lays in that pinch weld in there where the metal's welded together and it keeps it from rusting on the inside. Same thing with uh, door bottoms, you can take your oil can and squirt oil up the little drain holes that they put in the door bottoms to keep the door bottoms from rusting. Or you can go to like Fleet Farm or something and get this stuff. It's like 12 bucks a can, but it's supposed to be supposed to be a good uh, rust inhibitor. Well, anyway, like I was saying, it's all welded together. It's spot welded and the new fender just doesn't come with this part, so you got to use your old one. So I did is I took a 5 16 drill bit and drilled a hole, 5 16 hole where every every spot weld was. Well, then you just pull it off, and then you can put it on the new fender. Now you can either, if you got a MIG welder or you're really good with a stick welder, you can weld those holes shut, or I think I'm just going to use some self drilling tech screws. And I sprayed that rust inhibitor on both sides of this try to keep it from rusting wouldn't show for a long time even if it did but now I'll just put a screw in every one of those holes I drilled into the new fender and then I get to have the fun of changing the other fender because it's doing the same thing and then the whole truck's going to go in for a fresh coat of paint okay I got it decided to go with the screws rather than the welding there we go. So wherever there was a hole from me drilling out a spot weld, I just put one of these big headed tech screws in. You buy at Menards. This 260 pack was about six bucks for self drilling. Just zip them right in. So here it is, basically ready to go back on. I mean, you could paint it first, and then you'd have the inside painted, but I don't think I'm going to worry about that. You won't see it when the hood's shut, and it's going to be covered with the air box and battery cover, all that. I won't worry about it. Okay, I got the left fender off. This one's even more fun because you got to unhook the cruise control, which bolts onto the bottom of the battery tray, which you got to bolt that off. There's a plastic rivet in the back of the fuse box. You got to take that off. Unhook a whole bunch of wiring clips. Here's this. Uh, Relays for the uh, heat grids, them are bolted in, you gotta unbolt them. All kinds of wiring, all sorts of crap. But, you know, now you got just about nothing left holding the radiator in the front. So now I'm gonna take and do the same thing I did with that fender and drill out all of these spot welds. So I, so I gotta save this piece and then screw it into the new fender and put the fenders on it. 